Hey, what's going on there, youth pastors? Paul Turner here from the DiscipleProject.net here with another great video for you today. And today I want to introduce a game called Play-Doh Pictionary. Just like Pictionary, except not with drawing, but with Play-Doh. Now, before I get into all that, if you are brand new here to the channel, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you being a part today. Be sure to click that subscribe button down there and you'll get videos like this in your inbox on a regular basis. All right, and like Pictionary, uh, you have certain things that you have to draw, in this case, things you have to make. And so I made a whole list here of different items like church and nose and microphone and said, okay, you have one minute to try to make this and get other people to guess what you're doing. And you know what? For the first few, they didn't do so well, which was really worked into how my, the message I had for that night, which I'll get into later. But let me show you some video of how they did, and then I'll share with you how you can do it with your group. <laughs> Pile of poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> What the crap is that? <laughs> I think it's a person. That's a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a stick man. You got 30 seconds. You, better, you gotta figure it out. A starfish. Patrick. Can't say anything. What else can you do with that? Anything else. <laughs> well, don't look at me. Is this on the cross? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you'd expect, right? All right, five seconds, four, Are we three, at it from wrong angle? two. Well, as you can see, they had a pretty good time. Uh, they loved it so much, they wanted to take the Play-Doh home with them. I said, knock yourself out. But it's amazing what little things like this can uh, do for students to be creative. Uh, it sends them back to their childhood a little bit. And it totally worked with my message that night, which by the way, if you are interested, uh, I'm developing a message called The Process, has to do with uh, discipleship, spiritual formation, all that kind of stuff. If you're interested in that, uh, sign up for my newsletter, It'll be a link down below there, and you'll get information twice a month with videos, articles, all that kind of good stuff, and updates and free stuff, uh, you know, and being updated when I'm putting out a new curriculum. So if you're interested in that, which includes this game, uh, go ahead and sign up down below. But how you can use this game with a larger group, I only had three students, uh, but if you have a small group, go ahead and just give each person the challenge to see if they can get other people to guess. If you have a larger group, go ahead and break it into two, three, four different groups, do it as a small group. Give them 30 seconds to go ahead and make something and then uh, see if their team can guess it. If their team can't guess it, let the other team be able to guess it and give points to them. Then it'll be the other team's turn and they get 30 seconds. If you get down to it and you want to make it a whole big thing, give them a speed round where uh, you have to try to make as many of these as, as possible in one minute, let's say, or two minutes and give them bonus points for that. But anyway, uh, that's my game. What do you think? Do you like this game? Is this something you think you can use with your students? Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this game. And if you have youth ministry questions, would love to hear from you. Leave some comments down below uh, and ask me a question. I would love to do a video for you, uh, maybe to answer your question. So one more thing, be sure to go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Let me know you like the video and you want more of them. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.